Hey guys, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here, and this is the moment a lot of you have been waiting for. I've been getting tons of emails to review any inexpensive Tesla that I can find on the internet, and I actually found this black Model S on Autotempest.com. It's a really cool comprehensive one-stop search for cars. It's able to search all the major car sites, eBay, Autotrader, Cars.com, and compare the results with all of Craigslist. Now, I simply searched for Tesla Model S, sorted by price because I'm cheap, and these are the results that came up. So I clicked on the cheapest one I could find, and a link to this page came up, a link to Argo Cycles, which is the dealership where it's being sold. Now, a 66,000 mile Tesla for 23 grand sounds like a decent deal to me, so let's dig into it some more. Now, Argo Cycles is a salvage dealer, and it turns out this car isn't very far away at all. But before I went up, I called the dealership to see if I get the VIN number of the car, because you should always Google the VIN of any vehicle you decide to purchase. Now, after Googling this VIN number, this is what I found. The car was in a prior collision. Uh, the front passenger side fender was gone. It needed a new front bumper. The driver's airbag and knee airbag. But in the newer pics, it looks like it was repaired. The odometer showed 52,000 miles at the time of the accident. And since then, an additional 14,000 miles were put on the car. So someone was actually driving this thing. Now, a subscriber of mine asked me if I could pay a visit to the car personally. So I'm going to make the trip up there to do just that. I'm going to see this car in person. So here I am looking at the car, and the front end damage was right here. There's uh, slight panel gaps, uh, minor alignment between the fender and the hood, and minor scratches on the front bumper. It also looks like the front bumper could have been tightened down a bit. As you can see here, the bumper doesn't press against the light like it should. Now, there isn't a nose cone on it currently, but there was one in the ad. So if you do buy the car, just make sure that it's on, or at least ask about it. We go to the other side, and uh, that side of the bumper looks loose as well. The paint is actually very shiny. Granted, I'm inside, so I can't see any swirls, but it looks to be in pretty good shape. It's also a sunroof car. We're going to jump inside of it to see if that works at some point. Uh, it looks like the rear driver's side tire is losing air. And there's also some minor scuffs in the rear quarter panel and bumper, but it's not too bad. Now, there's no wing on this car, which makes it look kind of weird, but the 60s never came with wings anyways, and it looks like this 60 badge was removed. All right, now going on the passenger side, that rear quarter panel is clean. There's no scratches on this side of the car at all. And when they repaired the fender and bumper, they also kept the fender liners intact. So that's definitely good. Uh, also looking a little bit closer, this car is a coil suspension car, meaning it has coil springs and not air suspension. So you can't adjust the height, but there's less to go wrong. Now moving on to the hood, there is some slight scuffing and scratches on it, but a good wet sand and buff will get that right out. And moving on to the inside, the door handles all work, so that's definitely a good sign. And I will say the inside of this car is very clean. Taking a look at the back, it's super clean. It smells very nice in here. No kids have vomited in the back seat, it appears. And moving on to the back, let's see the trunk. And it's not an automatic lift gate. All right, it's clean back here, too. There's some turtle wax and golf balls. And if you look over to the right, there's no subwoofer, so there's no premium audio on this model. If we go to the inside, let's see if the car gets internet access. It says it has 3G access. Let's see, can it get to eBay? It takes a little time, but that's definitely working. The, the roof is clean. There's no smudges or marks. The glove box is empty. Uh, let's see, unlock required to start car. Push brake to start. Now, if I unlock the car, the car wants to start. Okay, good. Got that going. Let's take a look at the screen. After I energize the car, that airbag light does not go off. So there's a fault in the system somewhere. It almost seems like the airbag module is never reset. Thankfully, it's not that bad to get to. It's actually directly to the right of the accelerator pedal. Now, let's see if some of the functionality in the car still works. Let's check the sunroof because sometimes those stick. Um, all right, that works fine. Before we see under the hood, I'm going to push the parking lights button. And you'll see in the photo here, the lights aren't lighting up in the headlights meaning this car does not have the tech package. Let's look at the charge port. Now, the charge port is slightly discolored. That's a very common issue in a lot of Teslas. All the LEDs are lit up, but the ones to the left are purple and the others are blue. All right, now under the hood, I'll pop this side cover off here and you'll see a crack in the headlight. So be careful about moisture getting in there. But I would overall say that this is a good buy. If you want to get into your first Tesla for cheap, this is the way to do it. If you're considering buying this, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Richie B. Kid. I will talk to you guys soon.
Hey guys, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here. I'm sorry for giving you such a condensed video today, but I'm actually stuck in New York once again. General Zod, my Z06, has left me stranded once again. So I'm sorry today's video was so short. I'm stuck at a hotel. I don't know where I am. I'm worried, I'm scared, I'm alone, I'm cold. General Zod's really getting to me right now. I had to push her today. It's just, it's just awful, it's not a good situation. But thanks for watching. Unfortunately, I couldn't upload a long video today because the internet is so slow here. Stay tuned, I have a good vlog coming for you guys this disaster of a trip, and I'll talk to you guys soon.